to fall out this evening from that campus trial. Two former college football players now facing decades in prison found guilty of sexually assaulting a female student in a dorm room at Vanderbilt University. And this evening, a new case, a star swimmer now charged at another school. ABC's Ryan Smith on the new focus on the culture of college campuses. The defendant sat in stunned silence as the verdict was read. Uh, we, the jury, find the defendant, Corey Lamont Beatty, um, guilty of aggravated rape. Former Vanderbilt University football players Corey Beatty and Brandon Vandenberg. Guilty of aggravated rape. Both found guilty of an on-campus sexual assault. Oh. The victim was in court every day. The jury, who had been shown cell phone video evidence of the rape, taking just three hours to find the men guilty, the prosecution argued Vandenberg, Beatty, and two other former football players brought the unconscious victim, who was casually seeing Vandenberg, to his room after a night of heavy drinking, saying while Beatty and another man sexually assaulted the woman, Vandenberg egged them on. She testified in court last week. Her voice is distorted here. I remember waking up in an unfamiliar room. The prosecution reading a statement on the victim's behalf. I want to remind other victims of sexual violence, you are not alone, you are not to blame. The topic, a painful national discussion. 95 campuses are under federal investigation for their handling of sexual assault complaints on campus. And just this week, a Stanford student charged for allegedly raping a woman on campus grounds. Two students on bikes stopped the attack and police were called. The accused, star swimmer Brock Turner, has withdrawn from the university. Stanford banning the student from setting foot on campus again. Turner's attorney saying they had no comment tonight. Turner faces multiple felony counts and will be arraigned on Monday. As for the Vanderbilt case, Vandenberg and Beatty will be sentenced on March 6th and could face decades in prison. David? Ryan, thank you.